Along with the silky smooth and potent powertrains, the 7 Series also exudes a technologically advanced interior with comfort being a priority. The safety aspect introduces a bevy of the latest driver aids in the 7 Series. In fact, if you wish to exude confidence and, well, make a definite statement with the car you drive, there is no better way than to do it in a BMW 7 Series. Today we're working with our friends at Sears Imports in beautiful Minnetonka, Minnesota. This is a 2021 BMW 750i and it's presented here in Davit Gray Metallic and it has a beautiful black Napa leather interior. And it has an original MSRP of $117,295. Now it is powered by a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged and intercooled double overhead cam 32 valve V8 engine with an aluminum block and aluminum heads and it has direct fuel injection that produces a whopping 523 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs and 553 pound-feet of torque way down there at 1,800 RPMs. This thing will really move. It is driven by an 8-speed automatic transmission with manual shifting mode and it has X-Drive 4-wheel drive. Now taking a look out front, it does have automatic LED high and low beam headlights and it does have the signature daytime running lights and side indicators. And I got to tell you, you know, it's that massive chrome twin kidney grill with active aero shutters and you see the BMW logo floating just above. And then there is the front facing camera right between the two grills as they come together there. I do like the body colored front bumper and you see it does have the parking sensors and you have the gloss black lower trim and uh, the aero side intakes which are actually functional and I like this honeycomb grid pattern there as well. Up top there is a muscular and chiseled hood and above that a laminated windscreen with heated windshield wipers and wiper nozzles and it does have variable intermittent speed sensitive wipers. Let's take a look around the side. Okay, sorry, there is a little excess noise out here with a tree crew taking down a few trees. On the side, you see it does have the 20 inch M star orbit gray performance wheels and they are wrapped in Pirelli 245-40R 2099Y run flats on the front and 275-55R 2102Y run flats on the rear. Now it does have four wheel ABS with four wheel disc that are 14.7 inch vented in the front and 14.6 inches vented on the rear. Now this is a four wheel independent suspension with double wishbone and air springs and stabilizer bar up front and it has a multi-link air suspension with stabilizer out on the back. And this vehicle does have an automatic with driver control adaptive suspension. And these are power folding body colored heated side mirrors with the driver auto dimming and they do have, as you see here, the integrated LED turn signal indicators. It does have the body colored door handles and I like the chrome caps on them and they do have the proximity lock unlock. And this 750i features the shadow line exterior trim with the gloss black hockey puck or excuse me hockey stick trim on the lower side panel. And you see it does have the nice gloss black belt line and window trim and the blacked out B pillar as well as the famous design cue of that Hoffmeister kink on the BMW. Up top, there is a first row power sliding sunroof and a second row panoramic sky lounge LED roof. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Nathan will tell you exactly what that is with his interior review. Let's take a look around the back. Now out back, this is a sedan, so this is a fixed rear window with defroster and inside it does have the power blind sunshade and these are full LED brake and tail lights. Now this is a hands-free power open and closed trunk. All you got to do, there's a, a sensitive button or if you got the key, you can just kick underneath and it will open for you. I also like this chrome strip 
uh, light bar that runs the width of the rear end and it extends into both of the rear tail lights. I think that's a really cool idea. And light bars have become really prevalent. Uh, they used to be back in the 80s, now they're back on cars again, you see. You see it does have the BM lo BMW logo and you've got the Chrome X Drive and 750 badges on the trunk as well. There's also a rear facing camera just above the license plate and it does have the body colored rear bumper with the black insert fascia. I like that, the gloss black. And down below you see it does have the dual stainless steel M Sport exhaust system with chrome tailpipe finishers. Now let's take a look at the cargo area. Whoops, I'm trying to open it. I didn't let it open itself. Now the rear seats do not fold flat, but there is a ski or pogo stick passed through there in the middle and there are a couple of tie down hooks and over on the driver's side there is a built-in integrated um, first aid kit on the on the driver's side of the rear of the trunk there's no additional storage under the cargo floor and there is no spare tire as this vehicle does run on run flat tires now maximum trunk cargo volume is 18.2 cubic feet now other reviewers are content with just telling you about the total cargo volume but well we believe that in the real world it'd be nice to actually have the dimensions of that area so that you can know if that uh, home supply purchase that you just picked up will actually fit in the trunk and you can get it home so here we go with the dimensions the cargo floor length to the rear seats is 46.5 inches and then the car the uh, and then the belt line is 47 inches cargo width between the wheelhouses is 31 inches max cargo height floor to the lowest point is 31 inches and lift over height getting something off the ground into the car is relatively low 28 and a half inches now let's talk about some of the safety systems on this vehicle well you have collision warning system active driving assist dynamic stability control lane departure warning system uh, one of my favorites is the rear cross traffic alert uh, a new favorite of mine is actually the traffic sign recognition it also has parking assist multi-collision braking and so very much more so much stuff on safety stuff on new vehicles these days now some of the packages available on this bmw are the m sport package the m sport brakes with black calipers there is an executive package a rear luxury seating package a chrome value package a cargo package a welcome package uh, let's see there's a style lighting package and uh, one of uh, Nathan's favorites I know is the Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround sound system. But yeah, lots of packages available on these beautiful cars. Next up, let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, front track is 63.6, or excuse me, 63.3 inches and rear track is 63.7 inch. Maximum width with the mirrors folded 74.9 inches, overall length 207.4 inches and total height is 58.2 inches. It rides on a long wheelbase of 126.4 inches, gives you lots of interior room, and it has a ground clearance of 5.3 inches. Now its turning circle is 42.4 feet, and it has a curb weight of 4,870 pounds and a max payload of 860 pounds. Standard fuel capacity is 20.6 gallons. So what about safety on this 750? Well, it's not yet been rated by either IIHS or National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. However, performance, zero to 60, a whopping four seconds, standing quarter mile, 12.5 seconds at 113 miles per hour, and it is governed at 128 miles per hour for top speed. It does have braking of 70 to zero, of 170 feet. Well, what about its appearance? Well, I like the stately design and that big grill that has just gotten even bigger on the 2023 model, but it, overall, it's a very, very good looking car. What about dependability? Well, basic warranty is four years, 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty, four years, 50,000 miles. And BMW does offer complimentary maintenance for three years, 36,000 miles. Well, you know, a big car like this, lots of horsepower, lots of speed, economy is 17 city, 
24 highway and 19 combined, which gives us an energy impact score of 9.3 gallons, or excuse me, 9.3 tons of CO2 emissions each year for every 15,000 miles driven. So that's my exterior review. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Nathan. Thanks, Rob. And now I'm gonna take you on a tour of the, on the beautiful interior of this 2021 BMW 750i. I'm gonna show you all the interior features and all the technology. Let's get started. All right, and stepping in this beautiful 2021 750i, I love the, uh, the poplar wood trim here. It looks fantastic. Got all leather coverings right here. You do, of course, have your auto up and down all four windows, window lockout. This is your shade control. And then you have your power folding mirrors and then left, right mirror controls, as well as the cursor. You do have a two person memory setting. And then of course, ventilated uh, and heated seats there. And then, of course, you have your trunk release right there and quite a bit of storage in the bottom of the door. I do love the M badge on the door sill here. Now, the driver and passenger seat both, they're a black Napa leather, uh, and they have 20-way uh, power, uh, including um, lumbar support. They are beautiful. Take a look at them right in here. All right, now, underneath, you do have, of course, your uh, aluminum-backed foot pedals, uh, an aluminum-backed foot rest, and then you have the hood release, which is a pull twice to release. There's no latch inside the hood cover itself. Coming up here, you have all your lighting controls, and then, of course, one of your vents across here, that beautiful uh, poplar wood trim right here. You do have a power tilt and telescope steering wheel as well. All right. Now we're gonna step in. Okay, so step on the inside. Oh, what a what a beautiful vehicle. So um, you got, of course, you have a leather wrapped steering wheel over here on the far left. You have all of your cruise control buttons right here, and then on the far right, you've got uh, some things for media, uh, volume, and then you've got some selection tools for different radio stations, etc. Uh, phone, and then you have your voice command right here. Now, uh, you got paddle shifters behind here, and then the driver's information screen itself is a 12.3 inch screen. It is all digital, um, and uh, it's it's somewhat configurable. And we have a whole other video in, in which we'll show you exactly what you can configure and how to do that, uh, not only on the driver's information screen, but also on the infotainment screen. All right, now moving over to the uh, center, um, the infotainment screen is a 12.3 inch screen and uh, it has a Bowers and Wilkins sound system, 14 speakers and 1400 watts of power. So plenty of power. This is the upgraded uh, package here for the sound. Um, of course, you have uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have um, uh, Bluetooth, AM and FM and Sirius XM navigation, as well as a bunch of other features. And again, we have another video that covers that uh, completely and shows you everything that's in there and how to, how to get to it. Now, moving down, you do have your start stop button, but then you have your auto start stop that's right underneath that. So you, if you turn that feature off, then the car won't auto stop when you're at a stoplight. Um, saves, saves a little bit of fuel. Now, the air vents are interesting. So this is a um, four zone climate control system. However, the two center vents can be changed on their own. So I can set this down to 64 and even though I don't get a temperature reading, I can click here and I can make the air that comes out of here warmer than what's coming out of the 64 degree one, which I just think is, is really cool. And you can do that on both sides. Of course, you've got your hazard lights here. You've got your safety systems button right here. And then coming down below that, this is your physical controls for your uh, infotainment screen right here. And you've got a physical uh, volume and a power button right there. Coming down here to the climate controls, you do have some physical controls right here and right here. All right, now down below that, if I push this cover open a little bit, you do have a wireless phone charger. Uh, now, you also get a credit card sized digital key uh, in case you go swimming or something. You don't want your regular keys with you because the card is waterproof. 
And when you get in the car, you just lay it in here, acts like the key, and you can start the car. You do have a USB-A port up in front, and then dual cup holders. Uh, right next to the right behind that is a 12 volt outlet. Okay, coming back to the center of the center console here, you do have the controller for the infotainment screen. Now, the infotainment screen is touch, but you also have this redundant control right here, and you can spin it, uh, jog it back and forth, all sorts of things, and then you have shortcut buttons that are all the way around there. The gear shift lever, of course, is push for park, and then uh, if you put your foot on the brake, you press this left button, and then you can pull it down into drive or reverse. Okay. Now, so I can go to neutral without pushing that, but if I want to go into reverse, I got to push that button again. And then if you want to do some sport shifting without the paddle shifters, you can take this, oops, oh, put down and drive, and then I can go over. And now I can shift up or down. Okay, we'll put that back into park. You have a traction control on or off. You have four modes. You got sport, comfort, eco pro, and adaptive. You've got your parking sensors. You, this is a shortcut to your uh, backup camera or front view camera. And of course, this is your suspension level adjustment. You do have your parking brake right here and then auto hold on or off. So auto hold means you come to a stop light or stop sign and, you're, and you stop. You can let your foot, if this is engaged, you can let your foot off the brake and the car will remain stopped until you touch the accelerator or hit the resume on the cruise. Uh, this does, by the way, have adaptive, uh, does have adaptive cruise control on it. All right, coming back to the center console right here, if I open this up, it's a split arm open. And interestingly, you have a USB-C uh, right here. So it's the smaller of the USB ports. Um, so they do have both, which is nice. And then, of course, again, you have a 12-volt outlet. Uh, not super deep right here, but you've got a little storage and a rubber bottom to it. Okay. Glove compartment. Now, that's a fairly good-sized glove compartment. You have got all sorts of storage in there. And then this isn't really... You could fit a few things here, but it's really not a second shelf. But all you can fit there is a pen, because by the time you close, that's what there is. So it's all felt lined, though, which is really nice. All right, coming up to the rear view mirror, you do have your three home link buttons right here. And it's, it's an automatic dimming rear view mirror, which is very nice. All right, so these are two are your light controls, um, uh, individual ones. This turns everything on. But this one, these two right here, operate your rear panoramic sunroof shade. This one operates the front panoramic window shade as well as uh, the window itself. And then, of course, you've got your SOS button right there. All right. Now we're going to take a step into the back. Okay. In the second row, um, you have got some extra special buttons that are on the door. And so you have control for your rear window shade. You have control for the shade in the sunroof, and then you have control for both windows in the rear, uh, the window shades for the windows, and they have two shades, okay? So two shades. Now, in addition to that, of course, you have your auto up and down window switch. You have a pocket of storage right here, another deep one right here. You do have a uh, ashtray right here, as well as uh, actually behind you are two of your Bowers & Wilkins speakers. And then right here, you do have a light bar. And there's a little button there that you can push on it. It's not coming on right now, but that could be just because the door is open. All right, let's step inside. Okay, so in the rear, first of all, you're going to notice this driver's seat's adjusted to where I was when I was driving. I have got the, about a foot of room. It's, it's, the knee space is just huge. You do have a map pocket storage. Uh, right there, and then some of that nice poplar wood trim in the seat as well. Now in the center between the driver and passenger seat are the rest of your climate control. So this is for the passenger, and this is uh, for the left, this is for the right passenger, and this is for the left passenger. And then of course your basic climate control buttons right here, as well as vents. And then down here you have actually quite a bit of storage. Usually these are really shallow, but uh, 
I mean, you've got a good five inches of storage in there. And then if I push this, you do have an additional 12-volt um, outlet as well as two USB-A's. Now, the center armrest here pulls out, and there's two parts to it. So you have the nice armrest. You can open up the top lid, and you've got some nice felt line storage in here. But if I push the other button right here, it's your cup holders. So you got dual cup holders right there. And just push them back in. All right. So, and then, of course, you've got more of your Bowers and Wilkins speakers in there. Now, the only other features you have here uh, is you have this button turns both LEDs on, and this button only turns the first one on. You got a grab handle, a co coat hanger, and then each passenger in the back has a lit mirror, which is very nice. So what a comfortable ride this would be. Very comfortable. The seats are very, very nice. All right, next up, we're going to take it for a ride. All right, my turn in the BMW 750i. What a car. Huh. It is fun to drive. Now, uh, in terms of a comfortable ride, yes, it is very comfortable. The seats are... 20 way adjustable plus massaging. Uh, couldn't get much more comfortable. Certainly a hushed ride in the cab. Now, in terms of getting in and out, you know, it's a sedan, so it's a little bit lower than an SUV. But for a sedan this size, very average. So, uh, it, in terms of where everything is laid out, well, you know, in today's vehicles, you got voice command. And in this case, the BMW personal assistant. And it can do, you know, basically pretty much everything you would you would need. So you've got climate control, increase the fan speed, decrease, change your media station, plot a route in, in the navigation. Um, so, yeah, everything is right at your fingertips. In fact, you can program the car to wake up the uh, personal assistant with a, like a phrase like, hey, BMW. So you don't even have to push a button. Now, in terms of parking, well, it doesn't get much easier than a car like this. So it will automatically parallel park you. It will automatically perpendicular park you. It has uh, um, a backup assist program that's going to, if you have a perhaps a difficult driveway, if you, once you get it up there the first time, you turn that on, you drive out of your driveway, um, and then the car will remember how to back into it. So really, really easy. Maneuvering. Yeah, it maneuvers just fine around town. I've been driving around on town roads here and it's been absolutely fantastic. I haven't had any issues turning a tight enough radius or anything. But overall, what a beautiful ride. Absolutely beautiful. So now that's the end of my ride and back to Rob. Okay, my turn to take a drive in the BMW 750i. You know what? Interior sound and quietness, um, you don't hear much. You don't hear much from outside. Actually, I'm going to be quiet for a second and let you listen on your own. Yeah, very well insulated. Uh, you get a little road noise, but you know what? You're going to get that in anything, but it is so far removed in this car. It's so quiet. Um, Acceleration, we'll test that in just a minute, but I want to talk first about the interior fit and finish. It's absolutely beautiful. It's well done. There's uh, hand stitching on the dashboard, all the metal and wood and uh, contrast of the black. Everything just sets off perfectly. Uh, the only knock I would give it, and it's just a personal preference, it's the uh, shiny wood. I like a lot more of the open pour and the matte type finish that they're putting on uh, some cars nowadays. I just happen to like that a little bit more. Sometimes this, this is real wood, but sometimes they get it so shiny, it actually looks fake. So I do like the open pour wood. All right, we're gonna turn here and I'm not gonna be anywhere yet. I gotta go around a corner. I'm not sure I wanna uh, drift this thing around a corner. This is a 750 after all. But let's see, I'm gonna put it in sport mode. And once I get around this corner, I'm gonna just kind of coast along and then mash the accelerator to the floor. 
maybe. I just had a vehicle pull out in front of me, but we're gonna try it. So here we go. Oh, couldn't do it. There's a vehicle turning in front of me. Uh, let's try that again. All right. Oh boy, like a freight train. <laughs> that pulls and that sets your head and your whole upper body back in the seat. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> And that's in sport mode. And of course, there's other modes too that if you don't want to be as uh, as sporty, but maybe a little more environmentally conscious, there's uh, I think there's an Echo Plus or Echo Pro mode as well. Well, that's our review of this beautiful 2021 BMW 750i xDrive, and we appreciate you spending time with us. Don't forget to check out my notes in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and take a moment, hit that bell notification, and click on that subscribe button right over there. Thanks for watching.